Hello and welcome to this new Construct 3 tip and trick on function maps. So let's see how that works. Um, I, let's create a sprite here. Very simple sprite. Just fill something up. Let's like that. We copy the object type clone the object type rather, and give it a different color. So now we have two sprites here. We're going to add a text on top here too. So what we're going to do, is we're going to make sure that if we click on this sprite, um, we're going to set a certain text here above. If we click on that one, we're going to set another text here above. Um, you could do that very simple by just uh, adding mouse on click and this one you set a text and that one on set text very simple but we're going to use a function map this time so what should we do well actually I'm going to add a variable to each of those sprites here um, and then that variable the name of a function will be um, and we're going to use that variable to call the correct function so there's some things we need to do here. First of all, I'm going to create a family. A family using these two sprites, and I'm going to call it my sprites. There we go. And for my sprites, I will add an instance variable, and I will call it function to call. I call it the string. And here I will call uh, function one and on this one I will call function two so what we do now is we have to make those two functions function one and function two so I press the F key function one great and then we do set text of the text function one for example and the same thing happens if we make a function 2, which is the function 2. And what we need to do now, and we do that preferably on start of layout, is we want to go to the functions uh, option here, and we have to map a function to its string. And that's what we need to do. If we do that, you can have multiple maps, uh, but I'm only going to use one map right now. So the map name is my map, and as a string, I want to uh, map the string function one to function one. And as for the same one, use function two to function two. That's it. So now my map knows that if uh, I'm passing it a string function one, he needs to call function one. Passing it a string function two, he needs to pass function two. So the only thing we need now is the mouse object type. So we can add an event on object click. And if we left click on a my sprite, we can uh, call a mapped function. Let's choose my map. And the string is actually my sprites dot function to call. Now uh, in map functions, you also have the possibility to uh, forward parameters. I'm not going to talk about that here. Just It's just an introduction to mapped functions. And that's what it does. So now let's see what happens. Function one, function two. So that's it. That's how mapped functions work. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. I hope you liked it and see you next time.